Some of y'all probably wondering why I'm dressed this way. I'll uh, get you a close up on this hat. My daddy was a military man. My uncle was a military man. Uh, my cousins was military. Uh, my great uncles was military. Uh, most of my friends that I grew up in Cabrini Green was military. Uh, reason why I'm geared up like this here because it's a war in the black community. You see what I'm saying? It's a war in the black community uh, and the law enforcement officials here in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County, starting with the Sheriff Department, uh, the highest law enforcement official in the county, which is the Sheriff Department, uh, don't have any black sheriff deputies. Uh, they got uh, turnkeys that uh, let them in and out of the cells and Charles, Missouri Police Department only have one black uh, police officer. And shootings been happening, just had shootings, I think, yesterday and the day before. They've been having shootings on the uh, west side of town, which is predominantly black. Me and some other people, men and women, young and old, is kind of tired of it. And what you finna see in a minute, where I went and, 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 and went in front of the police station at 204 North Main Street, Charles, Missouri Police Department, and showed you what the chief of police, Robert Hearns, is driving. Now, he had a white Tahoe about a 2001. Nothing wrong with it. Now, he had the special order. I believe it's a 2024 Tahoe, all black. You'll get a close-up look on it. Now, with police taxes, not with regular taxes, but with police taxes, it's about $72,000. That's without having your sirens and lights and stuff on it like this here. Now, what is Robert Hearns and the Charles, Missouri Police Department doing to be able to get this here particular vehicle when all around here, just on the 17th, of uh, December 2023, it was about 20 shots. And when the vehicle was coming past here after it passed the stop sign, it was shot up. But guess what? Ain't no cameras. You see all these poles? Ain't none of them working. Come take a closer look over here. For years, I'm talking about for years, even before the housing authority took this building back over, Look on the on the corner of this uh, on the corner of that building. You got three cameras. Don't work. You see that pole in the back of it? Cameras that don't work. That tall pole. You see these other poles on these corners over here? They don't work. But here it is, people been getting shot up all over here. And you want me to tell you why? Because Robert Hearns is not fit to be no chief of police. The only thing he living on is Warren Hearns, the former governor, may he rest in peace, and his uh, 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 his, his uh, auntie, which uh, Warren Hearns was the governor here in the state of Missouri, and got Warren Hearns' wife, Betty Hearns, just passed away. Now, she was a state representative for one month, I mean one year, I mean one, one term here in the state of Missouri. That's what he living on. Why can't we get no protection? Now, those of you police officers that's doing your job or sheriff deputies that's doing your job, if the shoe fit way, if you ain't doing your job, you know it. We know the chief, the chief of police ain't doing his job. We know the uh, sheriff, Brenton Farrow, is not doing his job. Why is it the state highway, Missouri State Highway Patrol and the feds have to always come up in here and protect the black community. You know why? Because Robert Hearns, he should be in some of these car shows that these guys be having during the Memorial Day because that's all he's doing. He's showing the car. You, ain't, you probably ain't seen him never arrest nobody but me. You know why he arrested me? Because when I was dating white women, he didn't like it. I'm going to start dating him again and have him on my arms. You see what I'm saying? And walking in the courtroom. Happen to call me daddy. Would you like that, Robert Hearns? Peace be still. We're gonna be doing Whoa. Right. right. Exactly. Let us enjoy ourselves. Why are he being like that's why you're not a turn it off?
you want to buy that? No, I just don't want it. Do we need to yeah. potato sauce? Why right. Can we right. Like, exactly. Why are you so what mad? Are you no exactly. What what no, no, no music. Nothing. Music will get us Exactly. Good blessed it, uh, throwback uh, Thursday, uh, December the 28th, 2023. It's about 8.21 uh, a.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. Doesn't even matter whether you like me or anything that I say or do. That's your prerogative. You have a first and a 14th Amendment right, freedom of speech. I'm downtown here at the Charleston, Missouri Police Department. I'm down here for a reason. You know, some of the citizens called and asked me that I see what the chief of police, Robert Hearns, is driving now. And if you can get a close-up look there, that's a uh, either a tie hole or... Well, it may not even be a Tahoe or Suburban because I think that they uh, normally get uh, a Ford products. But whatever it is, if it's a Suburban, the average Suburban fully loaded, not con uh, uh, including uh, police sirens and spotlights and things like that. You're talking about from $58,000 to maybe $78,000. Uh, but anyway, I just want to let y'all see, you know, I mean, the, the police fold the update on their vehicles. Uh, but we trying to wonder, especially in the black community, why ain't no cameras working uh, in the black community where all this shooting and things coming from? Uh, if you want to blame it on the housing authority, okay, we can we can blame it on the housing authority. But you are the police department, and and is this where our money going to? And they told me about the Durangos. I'm gonna go around to the back to to see uh see the Durangos, but. This is where our money is going to uh, a, a fashion, a car show. You know, it's, it's not for the community. Uh, and I don't think any of the law enforcement officials with no disrespect, none live on the uh, a black side of town, which is, is no problem. I think most of them take their vehicles home with them. Uh, which you know ain't 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 nothing ain't nothing wrong with that neither you know especially if they have some type of emergency and I give it to the police officers here in Charles Missouri that's actually doing their job uh, this same building a few years back this is the police station down here in the 200 block of uh, let me see it's 204 uh, North uh, Main Street. See if we can get that address Googled in here. I mean, put in. Uh, it's 204 North Main Street. But uh, maybe two, three years, maybe a little longer than that ago, uh, this whole building uh, was closed down for a great deal of time. And they was using the uh, Charles, Missouri uh, 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 Armory that used to be the, uh, the National Guard Armory. But it, the city has that now. Uh, the city of Charleston that, you know, spending all these hundreds of thousands of dollars on these vehicles and we can't get no protection in the uh, black community. I give it to those that's trying to help protect us. But uh, this building was being renovated $400,000 now, just a few years ago, $400,000. Now, if you renovate in this place for $400,000, then why don't you have a jail cell in there? And then just recently, they had the roofs being done. Uh, and if you spent $400,000 on renovation, what would you need a new roof for this, this soon? But let's go around and check out and see if them Durango's is uh, in the area. But we want to know if you can spend all that money on that vehicle there. Look at the, the governor don't even ride around and nothing like that. Oh, uh, and look at look here the the uh, the president. This is stuff that the president, his security ride around in. But this is Charleston, Missouri, where uh, Bobby Hearns' names carry uh, a lot of weight. Not because 
uh, he uh, have the knowledge of being a law enforcement official. And then you would ask City Hall, the mayor, the, the, uh, the uh, city councilmen, and, you know, why is all this money spent on this? Why can't we get cameras? And why can't we get a search for some black or Spanish people of color on the police force? You have one on there, a sergeant that's been there over 30 some years. You see what I'm saying? But why haven't it been any people of color on here? We ain't even got to answer that question, but I'm gonna go around to the back. There's a lot of money being spent in this police department in the city uh spending it and, and they're raising up the water bills and everything else and getting them sales uh pay hikes but what's when is they gonna uh have enough money to find somebody to get security cameras at least in the black neighborhoods because i mean you know i can't blame them for the uh, the blacks is doing the, the shootings you see what i'm saying but I can. Let's see what we got here. So it's secured on this east side, y'all. Look here. One of the vehicles got the, look like it got the hood up over there. I don't know if this where they got these Durangos at or not. People was just telling me about the Durangos that they have. We see they got uh, quite a few cars. Oh, that look like that's new there with that hood up, don't it? But anyway, uh, I'm trying to wonder where is the money going as far as security? Now look at all these cars out here in the lot. Look at all these cars in the lot, y'all. But I think it'd be like two police on in the daytime and two police on at nighttime. Oh, there go one of the, the white ones that they was talking about there. Let's see what that is. No, they all look like they Fords. They go a close up on the chief of police. He, the chief of police is uh new vehicle there y'all Robert Hearns that's what he's driving I'm at this stop sign it says stop spending all the money on cars and car show and uh, get us some security in the black neighborhoods peace be still